The following video is sponsored by InstantMaddenCoins.com. The only place to get Madden coins instantly on every console and platform is InstantMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is up guys? Clickwood here back again with another Madden Mobile video and guys today We are gonna be opening a ton of packs trying to pull the brand new ultimate legends that are in the game Guys, it is Sunday, which means yeah, I'm a little bit late on doing a, an ultimate legend pack opening video I will definitely admit that yesterday was a super busy day for me But I have 30 of the ultimate legend packs saved up There's still a ton of great content in the game right now to potentially pull you guys saw the Mike Vic there Those items are still in the game as well as tons of other great ultimate legends so like i said i've saved up a bunch of ultimate legend packs i've got 30 of them here i've still got a whole bunch of other stuff as well so um i might have to consider opening up all these other packs that i've got as well here like i have 30 i think 31 of the large quick cells or i guess they're not called large quick cells but quick cells uh so we might have to do those signature packs i'm still holding on to those i think the all, all pro packs could potentially open up those i'm not 100 sure what we're going to do regarding those but uh with that said guys i do like i said want to go ahead and actually open up these packs today so uh we're gonna start off right away we're gonna start ripping these ultimate legend packs like i said i've got 30 of them saved up so hopefully we can pull some good stuff basically what we're looking for is elite ultimate legend players so it doesn't necessarily have to be the highest overall it doesn't have to be like the 97 98 99 version but any of the elites that go into the sets are worth something at least so uh if nothing else though we do get these ultimate badges as well which is good um and then uh, you are also guaranteed, I believe, a uh, an Ultimate Legend Gold player or better, at least, out of each one of these packs. Now, if you guys are unaware, each one of these are worth 50,000 coins, or each one of the packs are going for 50,000 coins. So, uh, if you count it up, 30 of those, uh, we're basically opening 1.5 million in packs today. So, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get something good out of it. And we really just need one Ultimate Legend pull to make it worth it. Is we get a Marshawn Lynch there. Kind of cool that they have, like, the old versions of these players. Like, this is a Marshawn Lynch when he was on the Bills. 87 over, or 84 overall. So, uh, not really usable at this point. But, you know, still kind of cool that they have those, uh, those versions of those older players. Willie Brown there, another uh, older version of that card. 84 overall. Um, Ultimate Legend badges. So again, all of those Ultimate Legend badges do have value as well uh, as far as like putting them into sets. But I'm, I actually don't even know if you can actually sell those. I'm pretty sure you cannot sell the Ultimate Legend badges. I'll have to go double check on that. So at least we're getting a new card every time so far at least. Uh, as we, again, of course, we get the Charles Haley right as I say that. We've already pulled the Charles Haley. Let's keep it going though. Again, all we need is the one elite and then it's really worth it. So there we go. We get an 87 Charles Haley. At least that's going to give us some sort of value. Now it's not going to make up for the fact that we're going to pull a whole bunch of other ones that are not worth anything, but any of the elite ultimate legend players have some serious value. So this is the strength version of Charles Haley at 87 overall. You can see 78 speed makes him kind of difficult to use to be honest with you, but he does have 92 strength. Uh, he does also have some, uh, you know, decent attributes in other areas as well. Good awareness, so that's good for obviously doing counters and tackling is good. So uh, definitely our best pack so far with that Elite Legend, but not really one of the ones that we're looking for. We're, we're looking for like one of the beast-ass ones. That would be great if we could get that. So out of this pack, we do get an 86 Alshon Jeffrey randomly. Okay, we'll take that. Even though it's a base Elite, we'll still take it. Um, again, Ultimate Legend badge in every single one of these, so... Maybe we'll have to do some Ultimate Legend sets at some point. I'm not sure. We get the Charles Haley there. At least we're getting, like, uh, at least you get some value each out of each of the packs. I know that the golds don't go for a ton, but at least it's something. Like, every single one of the cards that are in these packs actually has, like, at least a little bit of value to it. Uh, whereas, like, you open up a lot of other packs and you get, like, bronzes and silvers and things like that. And here we go. We get another Elite Legend. Here we go. Paul Kraus. This is his skill version, 89 overall. 89 speed nice okay 87 zone coverage okay great yeah that's actually a pretty nice pull too so we've pulled two of the elite ultimate legends already guys i'm not expecting to pull a whole lot of those but that's actually not too bad two of the elite ultimate legends is definitely uh definitely worthy of opening packs for so i'm, I'm happy about that we get a tom bahali here uh we also get a Leroy glover so that's a new player as far as our packs go uh, i know that's definitely not like the most valuable one or anything but Still, Leroy Glover, I remember when he was on the Cowboys, and he was a freaking monster, dude. Like, he was definitely one of the best defensive linemen in the league when he was on the Cowboys. 
But uh, yeah, I don't know if he's necessarily worthy of an ultimate legend. Some of that stuff, some of that stuff, in my opinion, is a little bit sketchy. But at the same time, it's just cool that they're putting out new cards. Like you know, beggars can't be choosers this year in Madden. Like for the most part, we're pretty unhappy with a lot of the cards that we're getting. And right here, we get a Denario Davis. Uh, this is uh, one of the new sets. What are these things called? I forget. Does it say? Yes, yeah, Season Star Series. So we get a Demario Davis there. So that's just a, basically a collectible, if I remember correctly. And then an Anthony Munoz there. Uh, those Season Stars are actually in packs right now too. So, you know, like I said, tons of really good stuff that could potentially be pulled out of these. And we get a 91 Leroy Glover. This is his strength version. So we've now pulled three of the Elite Legends. Very, very nice. Happy about that, guys. Very, very happy about that. I'm not actually sure how much these are all going for, but I know that they're worth at least as much as the pack is going for. So that's actually always a good thing to, to pull one of those. So, so far, three of the Elite Ultimate Legends. Nothing real amazing yet, but still some good value. So we get a Max Strong there. That's a new card out of our packs. And we do get, again, that random Jesse James Football Outsiders. Like, this card is just crazy common to pull. I don't even understand how it's that common, but hey, whatever. We'll take it. Keep it going here. Come on. I'm, I really want one of those elite beast-ass 99 overall legends or 98 or whatever, like the Marshawn Lynch. As we get a Justin Houston here, an 88 overall. Okay, we'll take that. And uh, we get a Willie Brown. Okay. So what do we got here for packs left? We've still got five, nine. We got 12 of them left. So we're a little past the halfway point. We've pulled three of the ultimate legends out of those already. Or, yeah, three uh, elite ultimate legends anyway. Still going to continue to rip until we're all done. And then we'll... Uh, then we'll see. I don't know. Michael Bennett, 86 overall. I already have that card. Not really worth anything, unfortunately. Come on, baby. Come on. Ah, damn it. You pretty much have to pull, it seems like, the Ultimate Legends out of your Ultimate Legends slot. Like, I haven't gotten any, like, any ones where I've gotten three so far in a pack, which to me means that, like, the base golds, uh, the base gold slots out of each of the packs don't have, like, a ton of value out of them. Hey, we get a 90 overall, Michael Bennett. That's a Football Outsiders. We'll definitely take that. That is a nice pull. Nice Sterling Shepard card there. Or S Sterling Shepard, yeah. Sterling Sharp, excuse me. I don't know why, like... People, like, keep messing up Sterling Sharp. Like, I know Cullenberger did in his video. Like, he thought it was um, uh, Shannon Sharp, but it obviously was not Shannon Sharp. Um, and then I just called him Sterling Shepard. Like, I, we just can't get it right. I, I don't know what the deal is. <laughs> we get Elaine Taylor here, though. A, uh, um, what are these called? The freaking uh, headline players. That's what it's called. And uh, let's see here. Charles Haley. That Charles Haley is definitely the most common one that we've pulled so far. The, um, the 84 version of him. Let's go. I think we, I think I, for some reason, I feel like I'm going to pull one of the beast ass players, but I've only got six packs left. So maybe not. I don't know. Maybe not. We get a max strong there. Five more of these left guys. And if you guys enjoy these videos, the large pack openings, be sure again to drop a like on them as usual. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you're new as well. We get a William Hayes there in 81 of the, uh, the season stars cards. And again, we get that same damn Charles Haley card that we always freaking pull out of all these packs, it seems like. Come on. Give me something beastly. One time. Damn it. I want to pull, like, I want to have a pack where I pull, uh, a, like, a gold Ultimate Legend player along with an Elite one and the other uh, collectible as well as we get a Paul Kraus there in 84 overall. Two more packs, guys. Come on. We only need one of one more of these. We just need one of like the beast ass pulls. This is the final pack, guys. And again, if you enjoy the video, please be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new. And we completely shit the bed. We did get a Sean Lee though, 85 overall. So in total, I believe we pulled three of the Elite Ultimate Legends. Not bad, not amazing, but still, you know, has some value to it at least. So again, guys, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please do me a favor and drop a like. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you are new as well. We're going to be doing all kinds of big pack openings for the rest of the year. So again, be sure to stop on back to the channel for all of those. Thanks again so much, guys, and I will talk to you guys again soon.